Today's top story comes from Morbi in Gujarat, where the tragic collapse of a bridge has seen more than 130 people dead. Politics predictably will play out because it is Gujarat and it's election season. Rahul Gandhi, to his credit, has said he doesn't want to take any questions on Morbi. He doesn't want to politicize it. But let's be clear. There are enough people in the opposition today raising questions that go right up to Prime Minister Modi, recalling a speech that the Prime Minister made in 2016 when a bridge collapsed in Kolkata, where the Prime Minister suggested this was an act of fraud, not just an act of God. And even if it was an act of God, it was a message to the Mamta Banerjee government that the time had come to go, to quit, and the people were tiring of the Mamta government. Now, that has been used politically. I don't want to get into the Tutu Meme. I believe politics is about asking the right questions, and the questions must be asked. And if that is politicization, so be it. Journalists must ask the questions to those in authority. And these are the unanswered questions in Morbin specifically. Was overcrowding the main reason for the bridge collapse? Did the bridge have a fitness certificate before it was opened just four days ago to mark Gujarati New Year? Did the private operator seek to make a quick buck by selling tickets at the cheapest price that he could and pack in the, uh, the crowds? Why wasn't sufficient security and safety systems in place? Did the local body in Morbi hurry to reopen with an eye on festive season and indeed elections? Was maintenance the sole responsibility of the private operator who had been given the contract to repair and renovate the bridge? Did this private operator really have the experience to run a suspension bridge of this kind, considering that their expertise seems to be in other areas? And why is a 140-year-old British era bridge in use in the first instance, some would argue. This isn't about a BJP government in Gujarat or an opposition government in Bengal. In every instance, we've seen there is local mismanagement and often corruption. And unless those local nexuses are broken, you cannot really prevent man-made tragedies like Morbi. And I use the word man-made here very specifically because let's be clear, it is utter criminal negligence on the ground. The local level maladministration and corruption that is often responsible for such tragedies. And unless those failings are acted upon and lead to prosecution of the guilty and due punishment, Morbi-like incidents will continue to take place in this country. That is what is the responsibility of the political class, be it in Gujarat or in any other part of the country. This is not the era of Lal Bahadur Shastri, where ministers would resign after a rail accident. No minister is going to accept accountability. But at least if the local level officials are acted upon, and if there is a full, thorough and transparent inquiry in a time-bound manner, it is just possible that a message will go out to all that criminal negligence will not be tolerated that results in the loss of innocent lives. So let's get our act together to ensure that Morbi-like incidents do not recur. The buck must stop somewhere. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.